everyone. Welcome, welcome. So happy you are here. It has been a minute since my four month carnivore. That was the last video I made with my lab results. And now we are at six months. In fact, a little over six months. So I th just thought I'd come out and just give you a quick update. Um, not a lot has changed. Um, it's funny. I have to just take a side trail, a rabbit trail here and, and tell you guys something funny. So my four month carnivore has something like 4,100 and some odd views, right? Can I just, can we talk? Can I just tell you? I got trolls. They're nasty little buggers. Seriously, I got these trolls. Now, don't get me wrong. Most of the people that watch this video are amazing. You all know you're amazing. You're you're either encouraging me, encouraging someone else, um, you know, telling me you're just starting, you're on it, some great advice, and I appreciate every one of you, each and every one of you that take the time to even see this video, right? So, but these trolls, these POSs come on and that's right. I won't even tell you what that is, but you know what it is. <laughs> telling me who do I think I am telling these people to eat meat, to just eat meat. And you know, why would I mislead them and all this crap? Just so you know, trolls, I'm speaking directly to you. I will not have that. You will be blocked. Comments off. Done. We monitor, we monitor this um, channel. And so anyone who is speaking bad of me or any of my peeps that comment or anything, for they don't even have time to even have it go up before it's gone. So, um, yeah, I got me some trolls. Only about, I would say, 3% out of 100% because the rest of all, rest of you are all amazing. It, just amazing. And so there's about 3% out there that are trolls that I just like, off, get out, right? <laughs> so, um, enough of the troll thing, I swear. Um, I did have one guy. It was pretty funny. Um, hold that thought. Let me grab this. Sorry about that. <laughs> At work, but, you know, things you got to do. Anyway, so I had another guy. And I don't know that I'd really call him a troll, but he was telling me pretty much, you know, why would you tell people to eat meat only? Um, why would you do that? That's Jesus... In the Bible, never said anything about that. Jesus never said to eat meat only. And to that gentleman, uh, read Acts 10, Acts chapter 10, 9 through 16. It says, this is Peter's vision, okay? We're talking New Testament. On the next day, as they were on their way and approaching the city, Peter went up on the housetop on the roof to pray and that was about the sixth hour. But he became hungry and was desiring to eat. Let's see. While they were making preparations for his food, he fell into a trance. And he saw the skies opened up. I'm reading directly um, out of the Bible. This one is uh, the New American Standard. Okay, he fell into a trance. And he saw the sky open up in an object like a great sheet coming down, lowered by the four corners to the ground. And there were in it all kinds of four-footed animals and crawly creatures and birds of the air. A voice came to him, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, By no means, Lord, for I have never eaten anything unholy or unclean. Again, the voice came to him a second time, what God has cleansed, no longer considered unholy. What God has cleansed, no, con no longer consider unholy. This happened three times and immediately the object was taken up into the sky. So, from the looks of it, Peter had this vision and the Lord is showing him 
four-footed creatures, hoofed creatures in some of the translations. We're talking cows, pigs, goats, lambs. He's telling Peter to eat these things. So this guy is preaching to me, telling me that nowhere did Jesus say, this is an Acts, New Testament, after Jesus has ascended, right? So chew on that, young man or old man, whatever. <laughs> Jesus came to set us free. We are no longer bound by the old law. I mean, yes, the Jews could not eat any of that, but we're talking Old Testament. This is uh, pre-Jesus, right? Now it's post-Jesus. We've been set free. As he is, so are we. The, we are not bound to those things. So for the gentleman that was preaching to me, saying, no, we can't eat that. Why are you telling people? There you go. But most importantly, you need to think about this. What goes into a man does not defile him. It's what comes out. What goes into a man does not defile him. It's what comes out that defiles him. Think about that. Seriously, think about that. All right, yeah, that's something to chew on. So anyways, okay, trolls aside, the guy preaching to me saying, don't tell y'all. I thought I made it very clear in my videos, my carnivore videos, that this was a personal journey, that this is my journey. This is how I feel, what I think. And I'm just telling a story, right? Just just throwing it out there so people can see how other people are doing it, right? Well, when I first started carnivore, I went in, I did the carnivore diet, and I can't tell you how many people I looked at. I can't tell you how many people. There was a ton of people. I wanted to know how they were doing, what they thought, yada, 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 right? <laughs> so I, I did my own research, and I'm sure glad I did because I've never been happier still. I know I might sound like a broken record, you know, but I feel that way. Um, I haven't lost a ton of weight still, guys. We're still looking at that 13 to 17 pounds. I fluctuate. Um, we do. We did renew my gym membership, and I'm doing some classes and all that fun stuff. And the weight is just not doing what I wanted. But how do I feel, right? How do I feel? I feel fabulous. I feel dang good. I feel dang good. Arthritis, told you in another video, hip to knee and all of lower back has arthritis. Dang, I can sleep at night. It's very seldom that I'll have to take a pill, whether it's an Excedrin or whatever the case may be, because my arthritis is so bad. In fact, last week I was cleaning so much, went OCD on the cleaning, you know, <laughs> and I hate to clean, just saying. I do not like it, but once a week you got to go through and then... Once every two weeks, I, I go OCD, so. <laughs> so I'm cleaning, and oh my goodness, my lower back hurt. And I forgot, somebody had sent me a small sample of this CBD salve uh, for pain. And so I just took a little bit of that, rubbed it on in my lower back. Dang. It was practically instantly gone. That was weird. I've never used CBD oil in my life. I just used it this week. Because, like I said, I got OCD on the cleaning thing. Just rubbed it in. I'm like, what the heck was that? So, I might never ever have to take a pill. Let me be clear. My arthritis, I feel it every day. But it's so light compared to when pre-carnivore diet. I mean, I couldn't hardly stand. It would get to be so bad. And um, now, every day, I can honestly say 98, 99% of every day, it doesn't even phase me. It doesn't even phase me. Just these certain times where maybe I'm walking too much or uh, OCDing the house cleaning thing, then it hurts, you know, but it's so rare. And I never used to be able to sleep the whole night through, and I am ever since I started this, ever since December. So, yeah, that's a miracle in itself, right? Um, another reason with the weight thing, even though I'm going to the gym and stuff and I'm, eat, I'm still eating really good. I mean, I, I eat, you guys, I mix it up. Um, tuna, 
only the tuna in water don't get albacore because of the mercury content i've done a lot of research for you trolls out there just saying you know what you can do with that information um <laughs> so uh the tuna in water only and i don't eat a lot of it because i still the mercury but they say to do it in tuna oil not an oil not the white albacore because that's just got a lot of mercury content salmon I get only get wild caught and Atlantic Ocean only the Pacific Ocean scares me because Fukushima radiation has already come over to the Pacific Coast so um, I try not eating any fish even up in Alaska now my favorite thing of all time is the Alaska King crab and if they're getting that from the Bering Sea like deadliest catch I don't know if you watch that but dang I love that show at one time and the crab legs are like that big once in a while I'll have that as just a treat because it's expensive right dang dude you want that what for how many legs <laughs> so um so my fish is I'm real careful about what I eat on the fish now I've heard sardines are the best thing you can eat on this diet I cannot get myself to open that can and get those little buggers out I just I see them and they're like oh <laughs> No. So, fish I'm very picky about because of the, the mercury and the Fukushima radiation reaching our shores. So, uh, turkey, ham, bacon, eggs, all this fun stuff. And my two main staples has never changed, peeps. It's hamburger, ground beef, and steak. All kinds of steak. We don't buy grass-fed. We can't afford it. Our local little store, the the butchers in the back love the hamburger, the meat, everything where they get it from. They feed it to their families, and they're very honest and open about what they think. And so we've just been doing that. Um, I feel great. It, it still amazes me how I feel and my movement and all that stuff is good I ain't 20 peeps anymore we're talking I am in my flipping 50s okay now here's another reason there's two other reasons I think I'm not losing weight okay for all the gentlemen out there I'm sorry this is you're just gonna go ew I'm in freaking menopause <laughs> seriously I hate talking about it but really I guess I'm blessed more than most women because I don't have mood swings or really bad hot flashes or any of this but I can tell things are different you know your hormones are changing there's all this weird stuff going on and you're like dang am I freaking growing a beard <laughs> what the hell is that jeez I'm like seriously what we women have to go through so um I've been taking ramifin or remifin for my menopause and I've been in menopause now for let's see six years yeah what I know sick and wrong I know six years but I've been on this remifin which is a natural thing I did a, a ratings and review on my ratings and review channel um, on it and I just get it at Amazon and it you know, I've been using it. I'm assuming that's what's been helping me all these years because I've never taken any fake estrogen or Primarin. I don't know if you know what Primarin is, but dang, it's pregnant mare's urine. What? That's right. I work for three internal medicine doctors, and that's what they told me. So I said back then when I was youngster, I will never take that crap. You can't even get me to take a cholesterol pill like my doctor wanted me to take. Remember I told you on the last video? Oh, hell no, I'm not taking a pregnant mare's urine pill. Ew. Okay, enough of that. So I think my weight loss is just so many different things. Okay, my menopause and maybe not exercising enough, but I am. Um, third thing I just found out this week. It's just so disappointing. So, gosh, for what now? Since that last video, at least. I have been making my keto coffee or what they call bulletproof coffee and love it every single morning. But I'm also intermittent fasting, right? So like I could have dinner at five o'clock at night 
I don't eat anything till 12 or 1 the next day. So you're talking about a 16 to 18 hour fast, and I really don't even know I'm doing it. Well, in the morning when I've been waking up, I make me my Bulletproof coffee. So it's either a little heavy cream or I have this new creamer some Shark Guys, Shark Tank Guys made. has MCT oil, no sugar, uh, monk fruit and stuff. So I'll either do heavy cream or I'll do this creamer. Pour a little bit in my coffee. I'll put grass-fed butter, pure butter. Put a little bit of that, a little bit of stevia, so curcumin. Uh, powder, which might help my arthritis, right? Um, some iodine and some liquid, uh, not potassium, they're minerals. Crap. Anyway, so I, I, I drink that every morning, and it's usually one, sometimes two glasses every morning. Well, dang, peeps, I was looking and researching online, and I'm thinking that's breaking my fast. What the heck am I doing? Seriously. Yeah, here, are, you know, I'm going all this time without eating because the truth of the matter is, is I'm not hungry. This carnivore thing keeps you full and satiated. You, you just don't eat like a pig like I used to on the vegetarian. I was always hungry on that piece of crap. Okay, nothing, there's nothing wrong with veggies, okay? But I think you should have meat to balance it out. Um, we had a steak with a salad and yum, Right? But um, we tried on that other video, you heard 10 months of vegetarian and it messed my gut up and I didn't lose one pound and my husband gained. What? So it doesn't work for everyone. And I'm not saying carnivore is going to work for everyone. This is just a personal journey and there's always research. I just found out about my Bulletproof coffee. I ain't going to drink that in the mornings anymore. I just found that out this week. <laughs> So, talk about a bummer. Um, so, I'll be probably having that with my first meal because I enjoy it so much. And it's got the good fats in there and and stuff that I love. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I found that out and I was kind of bummed out about that. But it is what it is. We're on a journey. It's research. You need to tweak it to fit you. Everything, you know, is trial and error on this. I mean... All I know is that I love it, and I'm not going to stop, and I am going to continue to recommend it. Try it for a month. If you don't like it, kick it to the curb. If you do not want to even try this, I suggest keto, because you're having a more variety with your veggies and stuff, and that's way better for you than eating the standard stupid diet. Oh, was it the standard American diet? Oh, excuse me. Oops. That pyramid thing, those are there out of their mind. You know, you need to get a lot of good fats on this diet too. So, um, we cook with uh, coconut oil, sometimes olive oil, uh, you know, with our eggs and stuff. It just depends I'm tweaking. I am still tweaking to this day as I go. Whatever works for me. Um, I did a ratings and review on um, nuts. Now, I don't eat nuts just unless I want that salt. Because prior to December, I loved chips. Lay's dill pickle chips, salt and vinegar, what? <laughs> you know, I loved it. Well, I did some research and I found out that macadamia nuts are the best nuts to eat on this diet. So when I have that salt craving, I, I reach for my Mackies. And I did a ratings and review on that on my ratings and review channel. And so once in a while, I'll do that. So I'm not so strict that I don't experiment, okay? And I think everybody needs to experiment because all of us are different, depending on what you're going through. Are you sick? Are you depressed? Are you happy? Um, are you in a bad relationship? I mean, it's always going to change, right? But I do know that my staple will always be carnivore because it makes me full, happy, and satiated. If I don't, if I'm always hungry, that that's temptation right there. You know, you can't even go to the store without wanting to look at a freaking donut. <laughs> oh yeah, I love donuts and ice cream. Real ice cream. The ice cream that says cream milk, maybe butter, whatever, you know. 
Um, oh, by the way, while I'm on ice cream topic, do not eat Briar's ice cream. If you do, that stuff doesn't even melt. I watched several videos on YouTube about Briar's ice cream. Ew. The guy left it out for like 10 hours and it still didn't melt. All Briar's. Not just the vanilla. I mean, we're talking all Briar's. It was disgusting. Sorry, rabbit trail. <laughs> I digress. I go, I'm easily entertained, right? <laughs> so, um, to wrap it up, number one, first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have been so encouraging. I mean, amazing. You give good advice, and I have taken some of that advice to heart. So, um, and all of you who are nice to my other peeps who comment, um, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate taking the time to even watch this video. You all are amazing. I thank you. Any questions or comments, give me a shout out. Love to hear how you're doing still. So, appreciate it. Bye, guys. Have a great day.